Today's topic is opioid use disorder. Opioids are a type of drugs produced from a plant called the opium poppy plant. These drugs are often prescribed by doctors as painkillers, as they can relieve pain by blocking the pain signals between the body and the brain. But the problem here is that these drugs can cause people to feel more happy or more relaxed. And that can make some people abuse the use of these drugs and take more than what is prescribed to them. How Addiction Happens The most commonly used opioids are oxycontin, oxycodone, codeine, and morphine. These drugs are prescribed by doctors in low doses to treat periods of pain for a short amount of time. But what causes addiction is that these drugs trigger the release of endorphins, which are chemicals that make you feel good and give you a sense of pleasure. After a few days of taking opioids, many patients develop a tolerance for the drug, which means that the body stops producing endorphins on its own, and they need a larger dose to get these good feelings again. So, some patients ask the doctor to increase the dose, but many doctors know the risks and refuse to do that, which makes some patients turn to obtaining these drugs illegally and may take other illegal types such as heroin. When that happens, and the person uses an opioid for a long time in large doses, the patient develops an addiction to the drug. Symptoms of Addiction The symptoms of opioid addiction include the inability to control the usage of these drugs, increasing the doses over time, weight loss, nausea, vomiting, itching, isolation from other people, and changes in sleep. When a patient with an addiction tries to stop taking the opioid, he or she may feel the symptoms of withdrawal, which include anxiety and wanting to take the drug again, hyperactivity and being easily agitated, an increase in the blood pressure and heart rate, and rapid breathing. Sometimes a patient may overdose and take too much at once, and this can have life-threatening symptoms, as the patient can have very slow shallow breathing, and the blood pressure and heart rate may drop to dangerous levels. If the breathing eventually stops, then the patient may die if there is no immediate medical intervention. Treatment The treatment for the overdose includes supporting the breathing by a ventilator, and a drug called naloxone is given to help reverse the effects of the opioid. But for other addicts with no overdose symptoms, then the treatment is usually by stopping the opioid, taking a substitute drug, and then slowly decreasing the dose and stopping it completely at the end. These substitute drugs are usually methadone and buprenorphine. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.